Wait, I'm out. Um, so we went in. You could. Okay. Hello, guys, and welcome back. Because if you've noticed, I have not been here for like a month. Well, here's an update for you guys. I'm in my pajamas. I'm sick, and I feel like filming for you. So let's just jump into Kangaroos Can't Reverse episode. I don't even know what what we're up to. I'll also mention I do have hair. You just can't see it. Well, there's two. Okay, okay, okay. Weirdest teacher experience. Um, okay, so weirdest teacher experience was when I was in year nine. Now in year nine, we had four camps and one of them was to a place about 45 minutes away from where I live and we had to plant trees for a week. It was horrific because it was raining and it was cold and it wasn't as bad as I make it out to be, I guess. We just happened to have some pretty cool teachers come with us. Okay, so the week had started and the first teacher that I liked went home sick and I ended up going home and getting sick. Talk about getting sick. Oh my god. What am I talking about? <laughs> we had been out planting trees. Uh, we went to a farm. I have no idea why, but me and my best friend at the time wanted to build a fort in our rooms. Now we were staying with three other, uh, two other people. It was me, my best friend, uh, another girl, another two girls actually. And the two other girls, they did not want to build a fort whatsoever. Like, we were the childish ones in the group. And, you know, if we were still friends, we probably still would be. Anyway, um... We were at this farm and we asked our teacher if we could build a fort. And she was like, mm, I don't know, um, I guess you can. She was like, okay, okay, we can build, you guys can build a fort. So we're like, yay, we're going to build a fort when we get home tonight, home to the place we're staying. So we were like planning it all and she gave us permission to steal the four mattresses out of the teacher that went home. Uh, out of her room. So we had it all planned. We were going to build a fort. We we're going to have heaps of lollies and chocolates and everything that we had snuck onto this camp. Anyway, the night comes and the teacher and one of the male staff, uh, they were in the like the common room type area and they were planning some more tree planting, I think, because on the Friday we were going home and we were going to have to plant more trees that day, but they were like planning it. It ended up raining a lot so we didn't have to do that. You guys have no idea how hard this is because everything I say is echoing through my ear. I don't know. I feel fine though. Anyway, we had spent like two hours building that fort and it had seven mattresses all up and then inside we had all our lollies and everything. It was the best fort I swear I've ever built in my life. I built a lot of forts. Okay, so that literally is nothing. Like the fort had nothing to do with it. So we went into into like the common room to get the teacher and she came in and she ran up and jumped on top of it and it was pretty sturdy. The fort was cool, okay? Anyway, she came in and she joined us and you know, we shared some lollies and stuff and you know, that, that was fine, whatever. That's just one thing that happened on that camp with the weird teacher experience. Uh, the next was, so this is I think the main part of it. But there is one more thing after this. So on the Thursday of the camp, we travelled to Ballarat uh, to go shopping and stuff. Kind of, a, kind of a celebration to the camp, like that we'd finished it. And believe me, we needed it. Uh, so, you know, we went shopping and stuff and then we went out for tea. And then we went to Cold Rock. Cold Rock is like an ice creamery and you can add like M&Ms and everything into your, into your ice cream. Okay, um, and we had all sat at a table. Me, my best friend at the time, the teacher that had been in the fort with us, and then uh, another girl. And I'm not going to say anyone's names in this because, you know, privacy and whatever. And, you know, I don't want to, like, get in trouble off those girls or whatever. Uh, because I don't talk to them anymore. Anyway, we're sitting on the table and the teacher says, you know, I could be your dad and... I can't say her name. 
let's call her Jul Julia. Um, I could be your dad and Julia could be your mum. And me and my friend, my crazy, crazy friend, was like, we're like, um, okay. So we started calling the teacher dad. Mind you, this this uh, teacher was a girl and she was our teacher. Uh, so it was it was weird. I don't even know how to explain it. On the bus ride home, we created a name. We put my uh, dad's first and last name together with my friend's dad's first and last name and like we created a name for her which ended up being Briley Dane so yeah to this day I still call her Briley Dane or Fata and she still calls me Dorka so weird I know um but I was like 15 so shh. the last thing that happened on this camp with this teacher was I was laying in bed one morning and I was in my sleeping bag because there were no like blankets or anything you know sanitary reasons I guess <laughs> and she uh, she came past our door and knocked on it and said girls get out of bed because we were quite lazy and you know everyone else was up out of bed getting ready packing up to go home that day and we were just in our beds I was on my phone which I wasn't supposed to have and I said you're not my real dad to her which is really weird as she walked past and she came in she grabbed my feet in the sleeping bag and then pulled me off the bed um, and my phone fell out and she did not care that I had my phone but my teacher had just pulled me out of bed like okay that was not it's not abuse it's not abuse like it, we were just having a joke like that's just how we are but yet yeah, my teacher pulled me out of bed and pulled me out into the hallway and left me there and I'm like yeah to but the, I don't know but anyway to this day she's still like my favorite teacher and she, well I don't go to school anymore so she's not really a teacher of mine anymore but she's still like my favorite teacher at the school I guess if that makes sense uh, so yes I still call her dad she still calls me Dorka. It's really weird. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my return to YouTube because I have not posted or edited or filmed in, like, a long time. Although there were two vlogs, which will be going up after this video, that were, like, vlogged before this video, I guess. Um, so I hope you enjoyed those and I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new because <laughs> um, I'm sure I'm going to make a lot more videos for you guys and I won't let you down again, I promise. Bye!